Oh, this is the leaf that is found normally in tropical areas because there are drip tips on it so that when it rains, it will fall down. The rain water will fall down easily and it will not be trapped inside the leaf. Yeah, so that there's no bacterial growth. The leaf has, is very broad so that it can capture more sunlight and grow. It, because sunlight is commonly found in tropical areas, there is more sunlight in tropical areas. Oh. In tropical areas, leaves like this have a waxy surface area to reduce the rate of transpiration from the leaves and to let water run off the surface easily. Like this. <laughs> okay, yeah. as you can see, the leaves on top are dying, uh, but the overall, all the leaves of the trees are not dying. So it's like they fall off one by one, and in this way, the tree remains evergreen throughout the year. There is seasonal shedding of leaves in these kind of plants in tropical areas. Yeah, we can say that the leaves of these plants are widely spread. <laughs> they are able to obtain maximum sunlight for photosynthesis, and we can also see that the leaves are dripping downwards. So when the rain falls on them, the rain is able to fall off the leaves so that there's no bacterial growth on the leaves. Okay. Trees have needle-like leaves which help to reduce the rate of transpiration because it has it reduces the, the rate of water loss so there's enough water for photosynthesis as you can see from the thin shape leaves. In tropical countries, flowers are brightly colored to attract insects like butterflies for pollination. They are also sweet scented. But there are many species in this undergrowth layer, such as these small cute little plants under the aloe vera looking plant. Because the aloe vera looking plant has leaves that are quite widely spread to allow sunlight to penetrate through and reach 